I half expected the sun to come out and everything here to bloom once I defeated the fear. Mayor Whale didn't have anything believable to say about the Lee family, almost as if they weren't from the village. I'm pretty sure in there's a Van Buren, not a Lee. The powerful Mr Karloff was driven into the woods by a mummy and couldn't even be properly buried. Sad. This grave belongs to the family of actors. As I understand it, the son left the village and is somewhere out there living the carefree life of an actor. The Lugosi family were the village dentists, but they're gone now. Phew, at least that's one less scary thing to worry about. Wilbur, I've got the hand. That was quick. Not the first time that I've done a bit of late night shopping. And you're sure it's Van Buren's hand? Pretty sure. There are at least indications that it is the hand of a sorcerer. What indications? Ah! It's not very well mannered. You know, you know what? I think you might be right. Esther? Yes. Can I have another sausage? But of course. This place is growing on me, you know. Now that the ghost stuff is all gone. You're not a city zombie, are you? People need to get used to us. Big cities always have a constant stream of new people to get to know. Here in the country, you only have to convince each person once that you don't want to chew the skin off their faces. Ready. Careful. Hot. Ow! Ooh! Ah! Thanks. See you later, Esther. I have to go. Bye. It doesn't look like rain, thankfully. A storm is the last thing I need in a place like this. I wonder how many owners this castle had before Van Buren. Too bad it's so run down. Soon it'll be nothing but ruins. The castle is way, way too big for one person. Why do all rich people always buy buildings like this and live in them all alone? As the rooms the Count uses are so dilapidated, I wonder what the others will look like. Am I nuts or are those paintings different from before? Ah, if I need a load of candle wax, I know where I can find it. Igor pitched camp down there in the cellar, and because of them, he never took a light down there with him. The stove reminds me of the one in my classroom in Seastone. It had a broken pipe too, and it was pretty useless. However, this one looks less pleasant. The Archmage can do all kinds of tricks. Maybe he can separate his spirit from his body. I guess I'm supposed to summon him as a ghost. Maybe he's too weak to appear any other way. Summoning a ghost. This shouldn't be all that difficult. I have to summon the Archmage's ghost. Attract it. Show him a way here. I should try right away. The Archmage is very clever and very powerful. Maybe he can help me with my other problems. I have to summon the Archmage's ghost, attract it, show him a way here. 
I should try right away. The Archmage is very clever and very powerful. Maybe he can help me with my other problems. You can see eyes blinking way up in the dark. And you can hear the occasional squeak. I think those are bats. <gasps> the Count probably hasn't noticed them yet. I can hardly imagine him allowing bats in his castle. Fine, then. Come on. Come on. Mm, did it. Maybe it's looking for the right hand, wherever that might be. That was the last seal. Ha. <sighs> That's it! Ah. This isn't the right place to read a book like this. I'll, I'll go and join my friends by the bright, warm fire. So that's your plan then? Pretty risky. I know, but even if I destroy the book, Monkers will find another copy sooner or later. We have to destroy the machine in the temple and the wand if we ever want to be truly safe. And we're going to use this as bait. You three take care of yourselves. Thanks for all your help. No, we must thank you, Wilbur. You helped us when no one else would. And you convinced others to help us too. The next time we meet someone in need, we'll help them and say, you have Wilbur Weathervane to thank for that. Uh, I think the help alone will do. Thanks. What will you do once Timmy and I have left? The mayor was here. It took a while for him to pluck up the courage to come closer than ten paces away from us. But I think he's coming round. He says the village needs a handyman and that you told him that Nate and I can repair pretty much anything. That sounds great. You could even take over the handyman's workshop. There's no one left to contest ownership of the house. All right, we'll go there. The mayor has invited us for a glass of water. Probably holy water, just in case. We'll pass that test, I'm sure. I'm not very good at goodbyes. Let's say, until we meet again, not goodbye. Take care of yourself. <laughs> I'll do my best. Look after yourself, and look after Timmy. I will. I think it's a good plan, and we have enough time to train for it. Timmy and I will... Wilbur! Surprise! Mancus! I'm going to... Stay where you are and do nothing! Or do you want something bad to happen to these two? Ivo! Quitter! Wilbur, you have to stop him! Let Ivo and Critter go right now, or... Or? You have nothing to threaten me with, Weathervane. The Fireball and the Fatty put up a worthy fight. 
but they ultimately had no chance against my power. Just like you. Chantal, show this toad what your wand can do. It doesn't work! As the little angel soon realized when I sent her mother to the realm of dreams. Why do you think I didn't go to the dark woods to get the book myself? Hmm? I had more important things to do. Did you know there were three Van Buren brothers? One created that remarkable wand over there, the most powerful one there is. The second created the book that explains how one can use it to open gates between the worlds. But the third brother, the cleverest of all, didn't trust his power-hungry siblings. He created a ring that protected him from his brother's magic. And it's still serving well today. <laughs> then, then I went and got this book for nothing. Oh, no. You've done my cause a great favour in doing so, Wilbur. I knew you would get hold of that book with the right kind of motivation. The resistance needs a leader. And I know of no greater fighter for good than you. <laughs> Sound familiar? You rotten little monster! Why, thank you. The book... Put it on the lectern! Not a chance! Ha! We both know you'll do anything to save your friends! No, Wilbur, don't do it! Ah! Bubble! Don't! The book! Now! Wilbur! And that's why evil will always triumph in the end. You goodies are too compassionate. You step back. You start reading. I can't read very well yet. Well, just try, sweetheart. The Nocturus Maximalis a a Eternalis. You have to stop him, Wilbur, at any cost. I know, I know, I have a plan. Dox Niggis Paratlatus Groklag. <sighs> The mirror is still reflecting a focus beam of moonlight onto the floor, just as I thought it would. Without the moonlight, this would all be even more sinister. Lucky thing Monkus didn't touch the mirror. The mirror is still reflecting a focus beam of moonlight onto the floor, just as I thought it would. He's mesmerized by the spectacle. He believes that he is closer to victory than ever before. The abyss is hundreds, perhaps thousands of meters deep. One little push and we'd be rid of Munkus. Unfortunately, he has his wand and I can't reach him. I can't afford any mistakes. If my plan fails, Munkus won't lose one second in making Ivor and Critter pay for it. The horrific machine has awakened. I don't have much time to stop it, or even better, destroy it.
Tell me, Monkus, what did you really do with Remy? The ghost had injured him, giving him a little magical nudge over the edge of the abyss was easy after that. Why do you ask? Did you want to give him his hat back? No, I just thought Timmy should hear it from you. Doesn't that make you angry, Timmy? <laughs> give me that book! Ah! Was that it? That was your plan? <laughs> you wanted to defeat a sorcerer with brute force? You keep reading. Um, Omnia Nunk? Well, what else can you do if you can't do magic? Upper, upper. A Peruro! No! No! Impossible! No! Ah! The flap opening spell! You've tricked me with a child's spell! I knew I had to distract you from Chantal and the machine for a while, and besides, it worked! How... how did that spell get in the book? I know a little something about bookbinding, doesn't everybody? I will! Let go, gnome! Well, are your arms getting heavy yet? It looks like the Van Burens were versed in more than just alchemy in the dark arts. Why did they have to use their talents to build such a vile machine? <laughs> Let go, gnome! Presumably you can use that to set the machine. It must be tricky to open a gate to another dimension and come out at the right place. Hoses, cables, vials, mystical symbols. Only the truly deranged could ever come up with something like this. Well, are your arms getting heavy yet? <laughs> I don't know exactly what those liquids are or what they're good for, and if I'm lucky, I never will. Let go, gnome! A metal pipe leading into the depths of the machine. Couldn't say where it goes or what it does, though. Nyar! A metal pipe leading into the depths of the machine. Couldn't say where it goes or what it does, though. Well, are your arms getting heavy yet? Ha 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 ha!